What's happening, everybody? Long time no see. It's, uh, sorry, it's been, it's been a while, you know? And it's really, I blame it on the weather. The weather has been really crappy. It really had me kind of down in the dumps. And, uh, just couldn't really bring myself to do much of anything. Except yesterday, our first real day of some sunlight. Brought my mood right back up. Brought my energy right back up. And I was like, you know what? I have not done in a while as a trasher pass. And I need to do it over the Gilling 125. This little swim bait right here is an absolute killer. Killer little swim bait. Now, the Gilling 125 is made by Geekrack. Okay, so here's some stats on it. It is, this one in particular, is the Gilling 125 SP, which is suspending, okay? So this is a suspending multi-jointed swim bait. 125, it measures in about five inches, a hair under five inches from tail to nose. It is a little over an ounce. It's like 1.34 ounces. So it is in those, you know, really good beginner size swim baits, you know, um, something that maybe if you don't have a rod that's rated up to a higher weight, but you want to throw the swim baits, you want to throw something a little bit bigger than say like a baby bull shad or a baby bull gill, this is the one for you. The Gilly 125 by Gee Crack was an absolute banger of a swim bait for me. I'm just telling you right now, it's a it's a pass. I mean, this thing is fantastic. There's I have no issues with this whatsoever. This color was the uh, Spawn Gill. The Spawn Gill, which you can't find this on Tackle Warehouse right now. Yeah, it's, they've only got one color on there right now. However, on Geek Crack's website, you can find these, and you can find a plethora of other colors and other sizes in this. But I will leave a link down in the description along, you know, with all the equipment that I use, down in the description with a link to, you know, go check this out on Tackle Warehouse and then all the other links that are on there. Any of the equipment that you get from any of those Amazon links, it does help me out. It does help the channel out. So I need to get better about telling you guys that. So... Let's get into this thing. Let's talk about this. Before I roll the fish catching videos of this bait, I want to tell you guys I've only got one point of view. Normally, you know, I have two points of view. I have my chest and I have, you know, the secondary GoPro. However, this day in particular, this was this was a while back. I want to say this is probably back in December that I filmed this and was fishing. So it was December. I think it was like mid-December is when I did this one. Um my chest point of view failed. Don't know what happened. So the audio is not great, but at least you're gonna see some catches. So that's the plus side of things. But I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys some of these catches, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about this bait and talk a little bit about the Gilling 125 and tell you my feedback on it and tell you what really worked for me, tell you the swimming action of it and all that. But anyways, let's get into the video. Grass or is it a fish? I think it's just grass. I think it's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. He was just really tired, really small. Look at that. Steve, your tips have paid off. Bought it. Yes. Your swim bait tips have paid off. See what happens when you listen? Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of them. 
Hey, come on, come on, come on. I know you're there. I know you're there. I felt you hit it. Come on. So does mouth shut. Soaks up, boy. Dinks for days, boys. Look at him, just looking all pretty for his picture right now. What a poser. Oh, hi, Alex. I don't know. I fucking broke my mojo. There we go. I think that was on a pause. Not him, me. I think that was on a pause. Uh, there we go. Take a picture, Alex. Hey! Good thinking. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I'm I, am, a boat. I am pleasantly impressed with this little swim bait and how it does not blow out. Got so many decent fish on this bait. Oh, there we go. Pause and stuff. God, I, can, I think that was on a pause again. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long that pause is. It's a quick little. Yeah. Quick little snap because when they're chasing it, just for that split second, yeah. they eat it. So this swim bait, what I was really bummed out about by not getting the chest point of view is I wanted to show you guys this thing in the water. This thing has got a fantastic swimming motion. It doesn't look like it would very much. I mean, it looks kind of stiff. It's a hard bait. There's no soft plastic on the side like, say, the Neo or anything like that. The only thing soft on this bait is going to be the tail which is replaceable. You can replace the tail on this. And these top fins are soft as well. They're soft. They're not very soft, but they are soft plastic. But the tail is soft, it is pliable, and you can swap out the tails you know, for different colors. Or if you get one ripped off or broken, anything like that, you can get a replacement for it. But the swimming action on this is great. I mean, this is probably the closest thing that you can get to a bull shad as far as being able to burn this thing and it not blowing out. There were so many times that I was just burning that on my uh, SLX, my eight gear SLX. I was throwing it on braid and I was burning that thing just to see if it would blow out and it would not blow out whatsoever. The suspending action on it is fantastic as well. It is a slow, slow float, or I mean a slow sink really, not float, but you know what I'm saying. Slow sink. This is one that you can just bomb right out, let it sink down, and then start creeping it. What really worked for me that day, and I think I said it in the video, I was talking to Steve, because Steve was out there. Steve was giving me some swim bait tips, and uh, what he had said in there was, you know, burn and pause. You know, try and like, if you're going over, say, a grass flat, and then you've got a patch of grass that's gone, you know, it's just not there, it's just open water. If you pause it over that open water, as you're burning it, pause it, let it sit for a second, then kick it back up again. That was almost every time that I got a strike that day. So, I, like I said, I think I said it in the video, but again, Steve, thanks, dude. <laughs> like that, that helped me out a ton. If you guys are new here and you don't know who Steve is, Steve is the OK Fisherman. I will link his channel down below as well. So, if you want some good swim bait tips and just some good swim bait content, Steve's your man. He is a, uh, a great, great dude. So I will put that down below and I'm trying to think about, uh, oh yes, yes, the swimming action of this thing. So this is one that you can burn, does not blow out. This is one that you can crawl and it will still have a good S swimming motion to it. The other thing that's really nice about this thing is if you are cranking it fast or burning it and you stop, it will kick out to the side. So it will be tracking straight and then it'll just kick right out and then pick right back up. The pause helps a lot because, you know, like a lot of glide baits, when you get that kick out to the side, when it kind of goes out of sight like that and then comes back into their line of sight, it's that reaction bite. This thing kicks out fantastically. This is one that you could easily reel pump and pause it, or you can sit there, sit there and, you know, rod pump for the twitches, for the, you know, kicking out motion and all that. But the Gilling 125 is a solid solid freaking swim bait it's not cheap it's 39 bucks but 
the amount of fish that this thing caught and just, I mean, how durable it is as well. This thing is very, it's, it's a hefty, it's a hefty little bait. Even for being, you know, just over an ounce and five inches, it's got some serious quality construction to it. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys. Like I said, this color is not available on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, the Hookup Tackle sometimes has them in stock. The only place that I could really find them right now was Geekrack's actual website. So if you're wanting to pick one up with spring coming up, jump on it, okay? The Gilling 125, freaking awesome swim bait. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you made it to this point and you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It's just, it's right down there. It's right down there. Smash the thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time we're on the water.